Hi friends, welcome back to my floss tube channel. My name is Amanda May and here we celebrate all things counted cross stitch, fiber arts, anything that you're really doing with the needle and thread, sustainable stitching, save the stitches, all those good things. channel welcome I'd love it if you stuck around I'm a goofball mom that loves counted cross stitch like loves counted cross stitch <laughs> and today for my 44th episode I am going to show you some fun summer things that I did I took a trip today and I'm gonna insert that video a little bit later today and show you the really cool things that I got thanks to a beautiful woman and friend that's in my life who in some small way, I feel like I have inspired her to save the stitches. <laughs> I cannot wait to show you that video. It's been a long day. It's six o'clock in the evening, Monday, May 20th. And I just got home. I beat the rush hour traffic. I put on my brand new shirt to show you because I had to change my clothes multiple times today. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> uh, summer is officially kind of in full gear in my mind, and <laughs> I've got my lemon tree, my flamingos, and wait for it, my new flamingo cross stitch t shirt to celebrate all things summer stitching. So pull up your, your beverage. I'm drinking ice cold water. I wish I had one of those ice machines that did that crushed ice like some of the the restaurants you know where there was like the little ball cubed ice. Oh my favorite. Anyway I'm not that fancy but I do have an ice machine so I feel like I am still winning. Like I said it is super warm and humid outside. I have a cold beverage. I cannot wait to talk about my stitching this week. So let's get started. I I have a few small wins and a few not so great wins this week in terms of my stitching. Mm. So let's get started with that. I want to start with my, my Prairie Schooler Fairies that I've been stitching on. And I am working on the 1995 The Sew Angel. I love it so much. So much. It's the little things in life. Uh, I had recently completed this one and I'm putting the two together and I absolutely love it. I added more to the wing here and then she is a bosom and uh, she is a dress without a body. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. I think I am going to use the same flesh tone so that I used on this fairy and I again I'm using the same color palette for each stitch. 10 stitches between the two birds and I absolutely love it. I am going to be adding some more of these motifs here of the flowers and I think I'm going to try to intersperse them to try to connect the two pieces here. Again this is a sky blue fabric a 28 count and I'm stitching it with one strand of silky 12 weight blendable cotton thread over two holes. So I'm stitching one over two. I'm really excited about the coverage I'm getting. This first one I had stitched with the two strands for the dress and you can see the dimensions difference. Here I am sticking to one strand throughout and the stitching is going beautifully. I love it. I'm using my Pat's favorite needle, the Pat Carson needles, and it's a size 24. I got my needles from Trish Turner at Threads Entwined, and she has an online store, and I made a wish list on her store. I made it public because, well, why not, right? <laughs> And I put those needles on my wish list. I have now officially tried the size 26, 24, and size 28 needle. When I first started cross stitching, 
they were the first needles I ever got because I had purchased them after watching a video with Stitchery Express where Cindy had interviewed Pat Carson at Market for 2017 and she was talking about her needles and stitching and I I thought well if I'm gonna start cross stitching I'm gonna start with a Pat Carson needle and that's what I did. I am not affiliated with Pat in any way other than you know the <laughs> All I can think of is the seven degrees of Kevin Bacon, you know, where you're connected. I'm connected to Pat Carson in a, in a, in a way of, I think every cross stitcher is connected to her because she was one of the industry leaders in really making cross stitch ubiquitous in the 70s and 80s and early 90s. And I just, we're all connected, right? It's a small community. It's a niche hobby. And I would go so far to say it's no longer a niche hobby, it's a lifestyle. <laughs> Cross stitching is a lifestyle. And I feel like I am living the dream. I am wearing my cross stitch shirt with my custom art. I made my brand new book, Flamingo book, celebrating the summer. I found some awesome Flamingo goodies. Look at this, hand embroidered flamingos gone to the beach yes please i picked this up two weekends ago at a craft fair in mount pleasant maryland and the gal was so nice i'll i'll insert a video and she also made this one so i have another a patriotic stitching piece as well the americana fans i love it it's on one of the cotton like tea towels awesome i feel like i'm just i'm flamingoed out here Living the dream, cross-stitching, celebrating life. But with celebrations come little bits of hiccups. And what I mean by that is this week's fail. Because I have small children. What inevitably happens when you have small children? You pretty much have to change your clothes multiple times a day. And if you're a mom of small children or <laughs> you know about, you know what I'm talking about. You got sticky fingers touching you, getting stuff on you. You're like, what is that? Is that chocolate? Is that something else? Is that peanut butter and jelly? What is that? Well, today it was chocolate granola bar. Yes, chocolate granola bar on my stitching. Here we go. I have been working on my Comfort Lighthouse by Carriage House Samplings. I absolutely cannot tell you how much I love this piece. I'm stitching it on 32 count, excuse me, 36 count uh, Sea Fog by r and Reproductions. Absolutely love it. I've gotten a lot done this week. I got almost the entire ship done and it would have been <laughs> all the way done had a child, a small child, not decided to come and drop chocolate granola bar on the fabric and this i call this a memory making opportunity right so i'm gonna finish this piece which i've loved the stitch it's gonna have this chunk of granola on it because this is an over dyed fancy linen by r and r reproductions where you don't wash it right <laughs> so i will forever have this piece of granola to signify how much I love cross stitching and you can't have anything perfect when you have small children. <laughs> Another reason why I've changed my clothes three times today is I went on an adventure where with my good friend and she is a mother and she is a mother of small children as well. And with small children comes large messes. <laughs> Go with the flow and also to all you non-parental units out there, kind of don't ask a parent, like, do you have something on your shirt? Because pretty much, I would say like 99.7% .7 of the time, the answer is yes. Yes, I have something probably sticky or icky on my shirt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's my stitching for this week. Again, I'm so excited. I got most of the ship done. 
I am stitching this on the 36 count sea fog with one strand of sulky over two. And I don't know if you can see the difference in coverage. Again, I'm using sulky for both pieces here. And so this is a little sparser on the 28 count at rightfully so since it is a different count fabric. But look at my stitching. I'm getting better. I would say that I am a wabi-sabi stitcher and I'm okay with that. <laughs> it's perfectly imperfect. And just like me, you know, the harder you try, sometimes the harder you fall. Just go with the flow. Keep moving forward and enjoy your stitching because at the end of the day, am I gonna look back and go, you know what? I just could not get through life because my stitches were perfect. No, you're gonna say, oh my gosh, I, I stitched all these amazing things. I have all these amazing heirlooms or I have no heirlooms, but it was fun stitching, you know? Enjoy the process. <laughs> okay, I showed you my tea towels, what I've stitched on this week. I talked about my little tree. I'm so excited. This tree is my lemon tree that I got for Mother's Day. Oh my gosh, it's a Meyer lemon tree. I've wanted one for almost a decade. I, it will be an indoor tree. My favorite thing to drink is lemonade. Absolutely, hands down, any iteration of lemonade you can think of, I love it. Now that it's approaching summer, that means it is time for the iced lemonades or like where you blend it and it's the icy with the lemon and it's citrus and it's amazing. You can add berries, like make a raspberry lemonade, strawberry lemonade. You can make like popsicles. Oh my God, so many. So I officially have my own lemon tree. Life is good. On the note of flamingos, I wanted to share my top 10 flamingo awesomeness patterns. Well, they're not mine. I They're patterns that are either out of print or you, currently available on like the online auction houses or in your local needlework shop. I apologize if not all of these are readily available, but thank you Pinterest for enlightening me on the joys and beauty of all things flamingo cross stitch. I made a list of my top 10. Number 10 is the putting on the Ritz. It is a flamingo and it's like a dapper flamingo. He looks like from the 80s or 90s with a top hat and he's like, He's a tap dancing flamingo. Number nine is Fancy Flamingo, and it is a phone case kit, and it came out in the Cross Stitcher Magazine issue 331, and I believe that is an overseas edition magazine. I saw a couple of the kits available on eBay, but as I've said in previous episodes, when you see those little kits that are from the magazine, you need to double check that the pattern is in the kit and not attached to the magazine issue. This fancy flamingo is, it has the full kit to make the phone case, but the pattern is inside the issue. So you need not only the kit, you also need the magazine with the pattern. It's awesome, it looks awesome. I want it, I don't have it, but it looks awesome. Number eight, is Tanya Mion Designs, and it's the Flamingo Tidbit. Tanya's name is T-A-N-Y-A-M-E-E-H-A-N Designs. Number seven is the so Stony Creek Sea and Sun Edition. It's for the Leisure Arts Leaflet, and it has like the vintage Floridian stuff, and I think there's even a manatee that you can stitch. How cute are manatees, am I right? <laughs> Number seven is Pink Flamingo number 95 by Creative Concepts Unlimited. And again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this list down below. You can go and like Google. I don't have the rights or uh, the photo rights to show you what they look like. So you'll have to like explore yourself. <laughs> the number five is an Etsy listing and it's a PDF digital download currently available. And it's called Miami Pink Flamingo by Deanna uh, Waters Handmade or Waters or Witters. Deanna Witters. Number four is the Mill Hill Buttons and Beads Collection. And it's flamingos, the button and beads, Mill Hill kits, the small ones. And that's uh, Mill Hill MH14-1916. Number three is the Tiny Modernist Retro Pink Flamingos. Super cute, Tiny Modernist. Her stuff is so adorbs. So check her out, Tiny Modernist. 
Number two is the Joyful World Calendar and it's month uh, for July and it's by the Sunflower Diaries and it is uh, for personal use only. It is the free pattern by the Sunflower Diaries and it's the July edition. So I printed this out. Look at those cute flamingos. Cannot wait. All the months for this calendar look absolutely fantastic. And number one, my number one pick for summer flamingo stitching is Hands On Designs, You Had Me At Flamingo. It is so epically adorable. Everything Kathy Haberman produces is just perfection. Yes, I believe it was a market release for 2019. Head on over to her site or local needle workshop and pick up a copy of You Had Me At Flamingo. Her floss tube channel, I'll link it below. She talks about, on one of the episodes, the Have Me at Flamingo, how she's always wanted to do the letters, the sampler, like A is for apple, and B is for bear, and C is for cat. Well, she didn't want to start with A, so she started with F for flamingo. F is for flamingos. She had me at flamingo. Love it. So adorable. I love Kathy's work. So that's my top 10 list for fun flamingo stitching. <laughs> All right, I think we need to insert the video of the hole that I got th today on my adventure. Okay, I'm inserting the video here. Okay, we are off to West Virginia. Driving safely, I'm about to put my phone down and head on out. It's gonna be an adventure and we're gonna have fun, yay! Are we, going are we gonna go? Are we going to West Virginia? Yeah! Okay. Yes. It's uh, no, not Virginia Beach. We're going to West Virginia, but we're gonna pass over a bridge, okay? Okay. okay. Come to West Virginia, and the deer are just crossing the road. <laughs> I'm in beautiful West Virginia, molting in the spring breeze, and I got goodies. Are you ready for save the stitches? I have an amazing, amazing friend who went on an adventure in Maryland cross state lines to save the stitches and then had me cross state lines cross state lines to come and see what she found. I have not looked at this before so you're on the adventure with me as we look at what we got. All right. What do we have here? So that most of these were saved from the Goodwill bins. Awesome. Which is done by weight, which means that I paid nothing. You paid Well, you paid something and your time and your gas. Look at this. Okay. So this is on Ada. It is a cross stitch frame where you make the little thing and put it in and it's shaped like an actual window. That is super fun. I think you could, if you didn't want to stitch this actual pattern, you could use this window frame to do like a farmhouse or something cutesy wootsy in there. Oh my gosh, look at this. I love lamp. <laughs> it reminds me of the 1970s, like Tiffany faux. Mm -hmm. <laughs> glass windows that's awesome and oh here's another one instructions included I, I I feel like we could take the chalk paint and make this like a white as opposed to the plastic brown I feel like I need to do that and then oh my gosh look at all of these awesome all the different size hoops and they look like they're stamped yet. So that says it's 10 inches in diameter. Oh, this one's stamped eight. Very nice. Very cool. Oh, and then I see a finished piece. Oh, so this looks like darning. I don't know. I don't know. What it was in called. a hoop. It's in and a hoop. And I just gro Put grabbed it. Put a hoop it. in it. Put, Put it on a hoop. Put it, Put it on, on a hoop. hoop. Awesome. Okay, what are these? <laughs> um, between being excited and the, the humidity, I'm like molting here. Okay, what do we got? What did you find? Oh my gosh, okay, so this is a stamped cross stitch kit. So, oh, it's, all, see, so it's already, the design is already stamped on the fabric and all you need to do is pick your flosses and start stitching. And it's Christmas. And it's Christmas. So fun. Oh, here's Peace on Earth. Super fun. Here's Carolers. 
stamped cross stitch. Oh, and here's the quintessential teddy bear. <laughs> awesome. And these would be really fun to do and then make into a quilt. Maybe even like a sampler quilt for your wall or that all that good stuff. Cool. Oh, what'd you find here? When this you see, remember me. Mm. Awesome. And did you get this in the bins? I did get that in the bins. It okay. needs clean, it does but need, it's yep. so cool. So they framed it really well. It's nicely framed, but it's got... <coughs> yes, doll baby. It, uh, as you see, it's got moisture damage and like a dry rot mold. So it would need to be pulled out of the frame and cleaned. But I like, it's got the sampler style and it looks like it's on 14 count Ada using two DMC colors, like a blue and a red. Very cool. Oh, this is fun. Here is a pineapple welcome. And what's really cool about this at so the back, it, it is signed and it looks like it was gifted to somebody it was custom framed at hobby lobby with the mat and it makes me it, sad that i found it in the bins and it was a gift <laughs> yeah and that's the thing a lot of us when we when we cross stitch don't necessarily want to gift it to other people because they don't appreciate the time and the money the cost of having this custom frame the time that it took to stitch this and but it's really i hope cute. i choose to believe that it was well loved and yep. it ended up there because Absolutely. Because she no longer needed it. Yep. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What'd you save? What'd you save? I'm excited. Okay. Oh! Oh my gosh. This so that piece. was not, did not come from Goodwill. Okay. That my daughter found at an, a, um, it was called, I think it's second time around or something okay. like that, a, a antique store, but she found it and loved the saying and said that you needed it. So. Oh my gosh. So this is so fun. This is actually a printed image of a sampler. This is not a real sampler. It's uh, copyright 1917. And the phrase says, ain't it funny that some folks you can't miss and some folks you just can't miss a, miss a pile? Miss a pile? Yeah. You miss them a pile. You miss them a pile. It's an old saying. Yeah. Like I miss ain't you a he, pile. Ain't he fo- <laughs> Would you like West Virginia? Virginia? Why don't you go ahead and read that for me, doll? I'll West Virginia for you. <laughs> Ain't it funny? I gotta do it in my West Virginia accent. Okay. Ain't it funny that some folks you can't miss, and some folks you can just miss a pal. And the folks that you miss a pal, or the miss, the folks that you can't miss, you see lots, and those other folks once in a while. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> that's my best West Virginian for you. <laughs> I love it. The Californian in me, I'm like, it's hella weird. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, neat. Awesome. Look at this. Complete guide to needlework. Awesome. Now that was at my um, aunt's house and she, oh, very um, cool. she said, hold on, I got to get something out of it. And she printed something off and then she's like, now you can have it. <laughs> That's awesome. Complete guide to needlework. So it looks like it's got crochet, tatting, cross stitch, embroidery, needlepoint, applique, rug making, and lace work. Awesome. And we got <gasps> you got prairie schooler those i think i found those at a thrift store oh my gosh that um benefited a theater so of course i was like i will buy all of them so this is the amish sampler i have never seen this before sunshine and shadow so that is epic i don't want to show the chart of this okay where are we here i'll go like this oh very cool so i love this stuff 1988 gifts for my baby for every decade awesome we'll go through that a little bit Oh, this is cool. Sangrio Harvest. Fine needlework designs created in America to honor our needlework heritage. Oh, that's really cool. So it's got the cactus. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I've never seen that before. It looks like it's 18 count Ada. Yes, it is. A 18 count Charles Craft Ada for the Posey collection. And I love the Arizona cactus. And it looks like they're picking the, uh, the flowers off of the cactus, the cactus blossoms. Oh, I was just seeing how I love the strawberry samplers yesterday. And here is a very Victorian strawberry samplers. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Here's a shepherd's bush sampler. Oh, no, excuse me. This is Vanessa Ann collection. So before shepherd's bush became shepherd's bush, the designer. So this is from Tina Richards herself, an expert needleworker and quilter. So she was the leading designer for Vanessa Ann before she went off on her own. Here's a carnation sampler. Oh, I like this one a lot. This one is really cool. I like that one. 
Oh my gosh, that grapevine sampler. This is really fun. Oh my gosh, you did such a good job. <laughs> See, I know my stuff. Was I got friends in high places. <laughs> this one's an acorn, an acorn sampler. So this would be perfect for autumn. And Elaine Bennett. Oh, this one, Pat Rogers. I haven't seen this one, the Jeanette sampler. I like the border on this. It's got some really fun flowers. Oh, look at this prairie schooler. It is the Noah's Ark prairie schooler. Isn't it and so it, cute? It is so cute. And then look at these little cows. I Oh my gosh, I love the cows and the horses. I mean, you could stitch just the farmhouse style. You wouldn't even have to incorporate the Noah's Ark theme if you didn't want to. And the back here, it shows like the donkey with the owl on it. I mean, how precious is that? I don't know where I am. I'm sorry. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are fun. Paul Downing looks, I can't show you. Oh, it's a hand, it's um a hand drawn chart of a dog. Oh, nice. The City Stitcher. Here's another Noah's Ark sampler. That's really neat. I haven't seen that one before. And then, oh, that's fun. So perforated paper sampler. That's really neat that this is a specific chart designed for stitching on perforated paper versus stitching on fabric. So it's, the dimensions of it are for the standard size of a perforated paper sheet, which is really neat. Uh, perforated paper was really big when those could not afford the standard linen or whatever stitch on perforated paper was a more inexpensive option. Today we stitch on it because it's awesome too. I love my save the stitches. Thank you. Yay, I feel like I need to like roll. <laughs> roll in them. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> Yay. Wasn't that fun? That's the adventure that I went on today. It was awesome. Got home. I'm safe. Kids are safe. Like I said, changed my clothes. Saw the deer went over the wit river, through the woods, across the Appalachian Trail. Well, not physically, but the, like there's the sign saying, you know, Appalachian Trail. And let me tell you, coming from the Sierra Nevada Mountains in California to the Appalachians here on the East Coast, it is by far, it's, it's there are very different mountain ranges. <laughs> I'll just say that. Okay, so what did, I, I flipped through this stuff so quickly in the video and it was so epically warm outside. I was like molting. So let me show you a little bit closer the haul that I got. Well, not all of it. I'm going to show you some of it. <laughs> okay. Wasn't that awesome that my friend got me those things? I can't even. Stitchers are the best. And yes, I taught, well, I didn't teach her how to stitch. I stopped. She's a cross stitcher now. She wasn't until I encouraged it. And now she is. I don't know if I can take all the credit. I'd like to think, I, like, like a little bit, a little bit. Okay. <laughs> this one is the acorn sampler. So precious. I love those acorns. And it looks like it has some drawn thread work and fancy stitches. It's like a band, a small band sampler. And the diamond eye stitching looks really interesting. I've never done the diamond eye before. It also has Algerian eyes and Montenegrin stitching. So not just your, not just your full crosses. This one, the grapevine sampler, I really like the trees with the little birds on it. And it's, it's a small, it's a small sampler, but it has the queen stitch, satin, four-sided Algerian eye, the long arm cross stitch corner, which I have not done. So I need to practice how to do the long arm cross stitch corner. I really liked this carnation sampler. And it also has some fancy stitching. The queen stitch. The arrowhead stitch. I've never done that. Arrowhead stitch. The double running. The long arm cross. The rice stitch. And then the double back and the Montenegro. Again, that looks really fun. And I, the fun fact about uh, Tina Richards is that she designed for Vanessa Ann before 
coming out with her shepherd's bush stuff. But I just, you look at it and you're like, that's Shep's bush, right? You just, you know. Very cool. Very, very cool. And this little strawberry one is so cute. I just watched a new floss tuber last night and she's doing all May stitching and they're all May strawberry stitches. I'm gonna insert her channel below. She's brand new, first time floss tuber. Her name is Annie. I'll link her below. The strawberries. I really liked this kit and I wasn't able to show you really close up. Look at this really fun cactus and go, it's really, really pretty. And it's created in America to honor our needlework heritage. And I really like that a lot. I love the mountainscape. I mean, this is practically full coverage. Then the Noah's Ark goodies. And the dog and the Noah's. I have not seen this one before, but I love the giraffes there. Oh, love it, love it. And again, this Prairie Schooler, I absolutely love that. Look at that, so precious. So I think I'm gonna probably have to stitch a cow with the bird, right? Farmhouse, it doesn't have to be Noah's Ark theme. You, could, you can incorporate it into Americana, patriotic, farmhouse scenes. This sampler, I really like the border. Very nice. And then the Amish, the Sunshine and Shadow. I have not seen this one before, but I really like it. And it's vintage on the vintage cardstock. Awesome. And then this, again, I love this. I apologize to everyone in West Virginia for not being able to pronounce, to, to say this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will work on it. But this is just like a color copy print. This isn't the real cross stitch. I'm not sure where the original is housed. I will, there's on the bottom here is the copyright. And it said copyright 1917, uh, but I don't know, and this is the back of it. I mean, it's pretty old, but I don't know when this copy, it's probably from the 70s, the 1970s, but I don't know where the sampler is housed or the origins of it, but I just think it's really fun. It's, so I have my official art print of cross stitch. I have my, over here, I have my vinyl placemat cross stitch. I mean, deck the halls with all the cross stitch, right? Fa la 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 X. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have just a few more things and then I'm gonna say toodaloo for the day. I got, I went thrifting two weeks ago and I got some trivets. Apparently I like, I confronted the universe on my last couple videos saying, you know, Michelle Bindi Stitchy and hashtag buy all the trivets. I've said, I, I've gone out and there's no trivets to be found. Where are all the trivets? I've, I've, they've, they've just disappeared into the abyss. Oh no. I found them. Look at this one. This one's like a bo bohemoth. It is one of those, it looks like a cutting board for the cheese and it's long. It looks almost like a paddle. I don't know, I could, like the fraternities or sororities, don't they get like a paddle or something like this? I don't know. I was one of those nerdy one people that like, I was sober on my 21st birthday. Like I was a designated driver for everyone on my birthday. So I don't know about these things. <laughs> Anyway, I think like a really fun long, like a, a narrow band sampler might look really nice on this, or I'll just use it as a cheese cutting board because hello, Wisconsin. The next trivet I found is a Maryland trivet. And see, this is hard because y'all know now I wanna make my Chesapeake Bay wall or my East Coast wall with my chowda stitch. Well, there's the Maryland, I don't wanna cover this, but it's a cute little tea kettle trivet. I way overpaid on this, but I think it's because it's, we're in Maryland. It's a souvenir Maryland thing. So what are you going to do? But it, buy it and enjoy it. And then the coolest trivet I have found. I have not seen anything like this before. It is the true Priscilla and Chelsea fied 
rusty, crusty goodness. I got a little spoon. And by little, it's heavy. Oh, it's heavy. It's a heavy spoon. But it's got a cute little trivet. And it's uh, from, it's like one of the J Japanese company trivets, imports. So I would probably date this in the mid uh, 70s, early 70s era. But a little, a cute little thing on my rusty spoon. I put it in my kitchen. I have so much kitschy stuff now. Bring on the kitsch. <laughs> oh, and my very last thing that I got in the mail that I am loving, I put it in my brand new rainbow pug box. I got this box this last week. We had to go shopping for a birthday present for a birthday party. And I saw this and I said, yes, please. <laughs> And it fell into my cart because who doesn't love rainbow pugs, right? Here we go, rainbow pugs. And inside, I put my beautiful stitchy mail that I got this week. I don't know if you can see this beautiful and all of the glory. Oh my gosh, love it. These are the Hello Shimmer threads. I got I didn't get all of them I got some of them I didn't get the Christmas colorway and a couple other ones because right now I'm all about the pinks y'all this one is like the orange oh my gosh the color my lighting is not doing these justice I have been I've been doing some some fun stitching just kind of playing around with them and I absolutely love them the Hello Shimmer. And they are not 12 weight cotton. They're a synthetic and the weight is different for, it's like the metallic threads. But I absolutely love them. And I have been stitching, been doing some fun stitching with it, which stay tuned in the coming months to see some awesome stuff coming up. I can't believe it. Life is good. Thank you so much for tuning in with me this week. Keep on stitching. Keep on being magical. Just just remember that you're awesome and what you do matters. Enjoy every stitch that you make and I'll see you next week. Take care. I wanted to come and look at these. You had some people looking at them earlier. <laughs> Did you, do you, do you hand do all of these? Yeah, it's all by hand. That's amazing. They're kitchen towels. Okay. That's a table topper. I love it. Table runners, bibs. Child's pillowcase, and these are a set of pillowcases that they're I beautiful. Yes. I love them so much. Do you use do you make your own patterns or I have stencils and I have hot on transfers? And then... Oh my gosh, this one is so cute. Okay, and I buy them from that's already stamped. Oh, you buy them already stamped? Like these were already stamped. Okay. So That's really fun. There's a hot on transfer. Okay. This is a transfer. This is a stencil. Oh my gosh. That's so cute.